All right, guys, in today's video, will silver ever get the monkey off of its back? Stay tuned. All right, everyone, welcome back. I've got a great topic video today. And I want to show you a little something, so stay tuned to the end. I'm going to give you a good comparison. So stay tuned, or if you want, you know, fast forward to the end of the video. It's totally up to you. But I want to welcome you back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you want, leave a comment down in the section below. Tell me what you think. All right, so in today's video, I want to talk about, well, silver ever get the monkey off its back now a lot of people are you know hardcore 100 percent you know is silver or bust and that's cool you know i get it i understand it's affordable it's easy to get there's plenty of it you know don't believe the hype there's no shortages on it okay there's tons of it believe me people like me you know people up in age they still hoard all their silver so you know even if it's not being mined or, or whatever don't believe the hype guys there's plenty of silver okay so don't believe that you know there's silver shortages you know don't believe that it's not true okay there's tons of silver out there so for silver to get the monkey off its back some things need to happen you know some things need to happen in favor of silver Number one for me, okay, for for silver to get the monkey off its back, it's got to break that twenty dollar mark. It has to, you know. It's just, it's just dogging out right now, you know. It it played with us last year. It got up to nineteen, you know, and then here comes the rally again in December, right? It jumps into the eighteens, and then last week, straight to the bottom again. So. It has to break that $20 range, you know what I mean? In order for it to be considered as money again, it has to break that. I mean, it really does. I just don't foresee it, you know, catching up to gold, you know, as far as the GSR or whether you believe in that or not. I just don't see that happening unless it breaks that $20 mark. Now, uh... Another thing that needs to be happened is silver needs to be considered money again. Now, what what do you mean silver has to be considered money? Well, it's, yes, it's in the Constitution, granted. But is our currency backed by it? No. Is it in our coinage? No. The one piece of silver that we do have, the American Silver Eagle, it's only worth $1 on the, on the back. That's what they say. It's only a $1 denomination. So, for silver to be considered money again, it needs to reflect your silver coinage. It needs to reflect today's silver market. Now, the market was set back way back when in our country, as far as in the United States, when silver didn't cost that much, when gold didn't cost that much, and it has still maintained that same denomination, even on the gold. So, in my opinion, these totals, even though it's going to take an act of Congress, which probably won't happen, it's going to need to be updated. Okay, this right here, it needs to say at least $15 face value. That's what it needs to say on the Silver Eagles. On your gold, it needs to change as well. Platinum needs to change as well. It needs to reflect what it's actually worth in today's markets. Okay, so what's another one? The GSR, right? You heard me just mention that. So what you're looking at right here, this is 100 ounces, okay? So there's uh, 50 ounces back there of Britannia's, and there is another 50 ounces right here in um, American Silver Eagles. So that's 100 ounces. So what's the GSR? The GSR is the gold-silver ratio. Now, whether you believe that that matters or not, whatever. My opinion on that is, is 
we are reaching all-time highs as far as the GSR. And silver, whether it's market manipulation or whether it's people holding it back, you know, whatever the case it is, it needs to close this gap, okay? For it to get the monkey off its back, it's got to close this gap. You know, it's got to make some movement. It's got to make some ground. So two things need to happen for that to take place. Either gold needs to drop, which I'm not seeing happening, or silver needs to get off its butt and get moving. Now, with the uh, the whole uh, virus thing going around, and whether that is you know going to start a global recession, guys, in my opinion, we already are there. The this virus is just a catalyst for it. Okay, this is just setting it off. So I'm not trying to, you know, scare you or anything like that, as always, guys. But this has been going on since September of last year. And it's just been, you know, leaking out little by little. But for silver to get the monkey off his back, it needs to close the GSR. It, it has to. I mean, you can't just sit here and be considered, you know, a valuable precious metal. If you're compared to platinum, gold, rhodium. Palladium. I mean, you got to make some ground. You got to show some life. You got to show some movement. If not, you're just going to be considered copper's big brother. And silver should not be even in that same boat. Yes, it is an industrial metal. It is used for lots of things. But it needs to make some headway. It needs to make some moves. Now, I look for it to do that. That's why I stack it. That's why I keep it with me. Is because I think that it's going to do well. It may take a couple years, okay? But I think we can break that uh, $20 mark easily. You know, whether it's the, you know, manipulation and all that stuff. I know there's some, some things happening and taking place. And and we'll let all, the, all that stuff unfold. But for the time being, whether gold, you know, slows down and silver starts rising, you know, it's, it's, it's got to close that GSR gap. I mean, it really does for it to be considered anything other than an industrial metal. And I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the last recession from uh, 2008, 2009, it took silver two years to spike. OK, so if we're entering a recession now this year, OK, it's probably going to be into this year or maybe into next year if we do see a spike. So that leaves you plenty of time to stack up if you want to or unload if you want to. It's up, totally up to you. But for me, I'm going to continue to stack it. But I do want to watch what the metals are going to do because if we are heading for a recession, like I think we are, you know, I'm not a you know big Wall Street financial analyst, you know, all this. I'm not. But I do see the signs. The writing is on the wall. It's the same writing from last time. If you don't believe me, please do your own research on that. I'm just trying to help you make the best decision for you, for, the, for your stack, okay? So what we have here, like I said, is 100 ounces. The GSR currently is at 97 ounces to one. That is for, that's crazy. So just to give you a comparison as to what that is, here you go. This is one ounce of gold. Just to give you a comparison, okay? So this one ounce right here, okay, is the same amount of value as all that. Does that help you put things into perspective? If not, hang on. Stay right there. I will do you another. I will do you a solid another. So what we have here is another 20. Another 40, another 60, another 80. So let's do this.
don't know if I can fit it all in the same screen. Holy cow. I can't. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. All right, just to put that into perspective, okay? There's your 200 ounces, okay? 200 ounces, all right? And then check this out. Right there. Does that help you guys? As far as the, what actual gold and silver ratio is? I hope it does. I hope it helps. Uh, that's why we stack, guys. That's why we stack silver. Because we're hopeful. We're hopeful that it's going to take off. We're hopeful that it's going to, you know, fight inflation for us, you know. But uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. I just wanted to show you those two pieces right there, really, and give you the real comparison of what the GSR really is. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And silver, it needs to get the monkey off its back. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think. As always, keep grinding on your stack.